So, good morning. Here we are, set up in the studio. We're going to test the minimum focus distance for taking macro shots underwater using a GoPro 4 Hero Silver. Um, we've got a plan. Created a little target and a distance to that target set up in inches. Just remember, for those of you who don't like inches, that every inch is 25 millimeters. So when I actually do the test, I'll quote both. And the camera settings are as follows. The uh, camera set on low light is on. The uh, spotlight, uh, spot meter is on. It's set to pro tune, which is on. Uh, white balance is on auto. The color is GoPro color, so we get our, the best uh, color results that we can get. The ISO setting is set to 1600 sharpness is set to high the ev compensation is set to zero and what we're actually going to do is test that wide medium and narrow on both resolutions at 1080 and 1080 super view and then we'll do the same with a 20 plus close-up lens on and we'll see what the res results are here we are on the first set of settings on the video the camera setup as i said Earlier, we're on the 12 inches 300 millimeter mark, and we're set to 1080p at 60 frames a second on wide. So here we are at 300, 12 inches. Now we're at 11, 275 millimeters, 10 inches, 250 millimeters, uh, 9 inches, 225 millimeters. 8 inches, 200 millimeters, 7 inches, and 175 millimeters, 6 inches, 150 millimeters, uh, 5 inches at 125 millimeters, 4 inches at 100 millimeters, and you'd note I'm uh, counting the camera back a little so you still see the target. 3 inches at 175mm, 2 inches at 50mm and 1 inch at 25mm. We're now doing exactly the same test again at 1080p set to medium view and we are starting on the 12 inch 300mm line for the first test. 11 inches at 275mm. 10 inches, 250 millimeters, 9 inches, 225 millimeters, 8 inches, 200, 7 inches, 175, uh, 6 inches at 150, um, 5 inches at 125, and I'm now starting to move the camera back over so that you see more of the target. 4 inches at 100 millimetres, <coughs> 3 inches at 175 millimetres, 2 inches at 150 millimetres, and 1 inch at 25 millimetres. Here we are again on the starting line, and we're now on the same settings, 1080p, and we've now gone down to the narrow field of view. We're at 300 millimeters, 12 inches, 11 inches, 275, 10 inches, 250, 9 inches, 225, 8 inches, 200, 7 inches, 175, 6 inches, 150, 5 inches, 125, 4 inches, 100 millimeters, 3 inches, 75 millimeters, 2 inches, 50 millimeters, and finally 1 inch at 25 millimeters. So here we are uh, doing the same test for uh, 1080p super view, which is the widest angle offered uh, uh, via the GoPro 4 Silver. You'll note that it only gives you the option of wide field of view here it doesn't give you the other options medium and narrow so we'll go on the same test 
So here we have 12, uh, uh, 12 inches, 300 millimeters, 11 inches, 275 millimeters, 10 inches, 250 millimeters, 9 inches, <coughs> 225 millimeters, 8 inches, 200 millimeters, 7 inches, 175 millimeters, uh, 6 inches, 150 millimeters. 5 inches 125 millimeters, 4 inches 100 millimeters, and I'm now starting to tip the camera back slightly. 3 inches 175, uh, 2 inches 50, and 1 inch 25 millimeters. For the next series of tests, you can see I'm now going to put the camera inside the housing with a plus 20 close up lens on. You'll also note I've just changed the back from the normal waterproof back um, so that I can uh, get access to the settings and you'll still hear sound. Obviously you wouldn't use this underwater. Now starting the whole process again, the camera is now back to 1080p uh, on the wide field of view and we're on the 12 inch 300mm mark. But this time we have the uh, 20 plus lens on so 11 inches 275 millimeters 10 inches 250 millimeters 9 inches 225 millimeters 8 inches 200 millimeters 7 inches 175 millimeters 6 inches 150 millimeters 5 inches 125 millimeters, 4 inches 100 millimeters, 3 inches 75 millimeters, 2 inches 50 millimeters, and 1 inch I really can't get any closer than I am as I'm touching the target with the lens. So we're back on the starting line, still on 1080p, but we're, we're now set to the medium field of view. And we're on a 300mm 12 inch line. 11 inches, 275. 10 inches, 250. 9 inches, 225. 8 inches, 200. 7 inches, 175. 6 inches, 150. 5 inches, 125. 4 inches, 100, 3 inches, um, 75 millimetres, 2 inches, 50 millimetres, and we really can't do 1 inch because we'd be touching the target. And here we are doing the whole test again on 1080p, but this time narrow view. It's worth noting, looking at the target, the target looks at an awful lot closer. We're at 300 millimeters, 12 inches here, and it looks very similar to being four or f uh, four inches at 100 millimeters without um, the normal close-up lens. So it's uh, without the 20 plus lens. So what it's actually doing is taking you a lot closer to the uh, to the target item, but without being close to it, which might have its uses underwater. 11 inches. 275, um, 10 inches, 250, uh, 9 inches, 225, 8 inches, 200, 7 inches, 175, 6 inches, 150, 5 inches, 125, 4 inches, 100, 3 inches, 75, and really I can't get any closer than that because nothing would be in the target. The interesting thing will be to see at what distance is in focus. And here we are doing the final test. We've now got uh, the camera set to uh, 1080p super view. We've uh, also got the 20 plus lens on. You'll notice there's vignetting in the corners and distortion 
uh, distortion on the right hand side of the uh, lens which is interesting it may have its uses underwater but again we're now at 12 inches 11 inches 275 uh, 10 inches 250 9 inches 2.5 8 inches 200 uh, 7 inches 275 6 inches 150 5 inches 125 4 inches 100 3 inches 75 millimeters 2 inches 150 millimeters sorry 50 millimeters and we can't actually get down to 1 inch because we're touching the target so that's all the tests completed what I intend doing now is uh, uploading all of those to my Mac and having a look to see which of those and which settings give you the optimum uh, field of view uh, and at the same time which gives you the, um, the most in focus. Right here we go it's results time of the test of the balance between field of view and minimum focus distance. Um, the thing you need to remember is the minimum focus distance is literally that the minimum distance you can be from a subject while the subject still stays in focus so if you're greater than these distances you will be in focus if you're uh, less than these distances when you come to edit afterwards you'll find that your subject's out of focus so at 1080p, um, depending on what you want to do with the end subject, i.e. if, say for instance, the subject is a bit nervous, you're probably better using 1080p narrow, and that will give you 12 inches distance, minimum distance, between you and the subject. If you're okay uh, having that wide, remember it's 8 inches, and the table clearly shows you that. wanting something that's uh, exceptionally wide angle the minimum focus distance for a 1080p super view is seven inches um, and I guess say it, remember that is the minimum distance if we now uh, go on to using the macro lens which is the whole point of using a macro lens our our subject to distance ratios uh, change completely on both uh, on on as an example with the macro lens on at 1080 on wide field of view you have a minimum uh, subject distance a minimum and a maximum subject distance of three inches if you're greater than three inches away from the subject you'll find it's out of focus if you're much less than two inches away from it you'll find it's out of focus so critically you're going to have to take some sort of device with you underwater that measures three inches you know a small white stick or a, or a, you know the length of your thumb or what, whichever suits you really underwater if we move on to then medium and narrow on 1080p with the 20 plus macro lens it's actually the same distance it's 100 millimeters four inches and that is both minimum and maximum so it needs to be in that very narrow band of four inches to be in focus on the super view uh, 1080 super view with the macro lens to be frank the vignetting is so bad and the distortion around the subject is so bad i wouldn't really bother with that setting at all with the macro lens on at all um, i uh, got a minimum distance of five inches but again there was so much distortion outside the central view it really isn't worth using so what does this tell us so if we were to sum this up um, you know a standard setting of 1080p wide which is probably the setting most people are going to use is going to be any eight inches so therefore you need to measure something that is eight inches that you can take underwater with you 
Uh, I'm very fortunate that the span between my middle finger and thumb is just eight inches. So I will be using that as the distance underwater to have the minimum setting. And again, you have the you have the table there that you can read for all the for all the other minimum setting distances. The thing that I would really really remember about this is that should you be using any of these settings, um, the closer you get to a subject, the greater um, will be a camera shake. And remember, in GoPro, is such a tiny little camera. Camera shake will be. Um, will look greater in the finished product so you need now need if you're going to take uh, macro photography uh, using a gopro you need some sort of uh, tripod to take underwater with you something that's light and durable something like a gorilla grip take it with you try it out and it's a question now of experimenting and you will find a technique and a bunch of settings that, that make it most suitable for you um, which is exactly what I'm going to do now and I will post the images in future. Thanks for watching. Bye.